You mentioned that the World Trade Center came down during George W. Bush's right, presidency. Right. Are, you, are you blaming him for I'm that? I'm not blaming down? him, although the CIA and other groups, but the CIA said there was a lot of information that something like that was going to happen. I'm not blaming anybody. It's a tragedy, a horrible tragedy, worse than our country's history, worse than Pearl Harbor because you're talking about civilians, not the military, right? Thousands of people killed, a horror show. Now, uh, could he have done something about it? His CIA knew about things happening. I mean, you could have said, but when Jeb gets up and says, we, ha we were safe under his brother, we weren't safe. First of all, his brother got us into the war of Ar in Iraq, which is one of the worst catastrophes ever. There were no weapons of mass destruction. The World Trade Center came down during his reign. So you can't say that we were safe under his reign when the World Trade Center comes down and the CIA said something like that was going to happen. George W. Bush is a pretty popular guy in South Carolina. And when you say that he lied, as you did, and you said that weapons weren't there, I mean, the Excuse intelligence. Me. There were no weapons of mass destruction. But, you're, but this is basically the Democratic Party lying. I don't care. Look, look, look. I'm a businessman. I built a great company. I'm self-funding my campaign. All of the people in the audience, most of them were special interests. They were, I mean, it was all stacked for these people, which is fine. I mean, it's fine, but it's really not appropriate. But the people in the audience were lobbyists and special interest people. I don't have any of those people because I'm putting up my own money. I tell the truth, okay? There were no weapons of mass destruction. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying he went in there. He thought there were weapons of mass destruction. Maybe or maybe he didn't, okay? But he thought there were weapons, and there weren't. So I'm telling the truth. But you said he lied. That's that's a little more well, than just have. he thought. If, but if it he did. knew that there weren't weapons of mass destruction, and if he used that as an excuse to go in and try and make up for some sins for previous years, then it would be a lie. But I don't think you know. Maybe that's true, and maybe it it isn't true. Impeached. You wouldn't own that anymore. You would once said in 2008 you thought he should be Look, impeached. Let me tell you something. The war in Iraq has been a disaster. It started the chain of events that leads now to the migration, maybe the destruction of Europe. He started the war in Iraq. Am I supposed to be a big fan? Now, I'm a Republican, I'm a conservative. Uh, so many lies are made. But you know, the truth is that um, we started the war in Iraq. We spent $2 trillion on that war. We lost thousands of lives. We have wounded warriors who I love all over the place. It shouldn't have started. We would have been so much better off if Bush and the rest of them went to the beach and didn't do anything. If you had Saddam Hussein, who's a bad guy and all of that, but he made a living off killing terrorists. Now, if you want to become a terrorist, you go to Iraq. That's like the Harvard of terrorism, okay? So look, it was not a great job. Now, people can say he's popular. I don't know why he's popular, but we also had an economic collapse at the end of his term. That economic collapse gave us Barack Obama. Without that collapse, we wouldn't have had Barack Obama.